as I'm sure most of you know, Bam is in rehab. Thank God. And the last time he was interviewed, he was on BJ Investigates, that surprise witness. He was on her podcast. How cute's her little pussycat? I didn't know she had a Devon Rex. I was shocked. Very cute. Love that cat. I love how he's listening to everything Bam says and he's probably just going, what the F is going on? (laughs) But this, she did a three-part podcast and this was by far the most lucid he was. Uh, The previous two, you could tell he was out of his goddamn mind. He was on everything and anything. You feel me? You dig? I want you to listen to what he has to say to BJ, and I'll be right back. He said, he asked me publicly on my page on Instagram, "Did are you the one who gave meth to Bam? He asked me if I gave you meth. Yeah, you were upset that I even had a cup of wine in this house. But if we're going to get mad at Jess, Steve-O, he did the same thing. He called me a loony lady and implied that we were doing meth together steve-o and millions of people saw it millions of people saw that video of steve-o accusing me of doing meth with you it's crazy because jess said like there was a people magazine article saying that jess said that i'm on meth i'm like jess you talk to people magazine about me being on meth and i swear to god and on phoenix life i'm not i went to urgent care with my lure got a piss test and the results are negative so you are fucking you got you're getting evicted Bye. So then, ape, I go, ape, I went to urgent care with my lawyer and the fucking meth results are negative, so up your butt with the coconut. She goes, well, you probably had Jessica piss for you. I'm like, how do you even, what? And and if she did piss, they would know it's female piss. Oh, would they? Is that how that works? Yeah, that's what they said. I know you have it. it. Learn something new every day. This episode (laughs) brought to you by the letter, they know if it's female when you piss. (laughs) And then she's like, well, you probably bought fake piss. Yeah, I oh, bought please. fake Oh, please. My piss. God. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so like, you passed the drug test. You weren't on meth. And yeah. you're suing Jess for defamation. Yeah. If I swear to God and on Phoenix the Wolf's life, you know I'm telling the truth. It's almost like it's part of the setup, though. I mean, you saw the text. Yeah. It lets 302 in. 302 is like a 5150, right? right, right. In just different states or whatever. Yeah. So, oh, let's say he's on meth. Let's start a rumor. Exactly. And then Steve-O repeated the propaganda yeah. bullshit fake yeah. news lie. Yeah. And millions of people... People have seen it. Yeah. But if I'm fucking mad, then Ape automatically thinks Bam must be drunk or high or both. It's like, maybe I'm just mad. So I'm sure many of you have met drug addicts in your life. They are compulsive liars. And it's not because they're a bad person. It's just because they have to lie to keep their love alive. And their love is taking drugs. And that is precisely why they love to lie. To not take accountable actions to their drug taking. It's pretty simple. But, you know, a lot of people have given BJ a hard time for doing this. And I I actually think it was quite good because it showed the world how exceptionally bad Bam was. I mean, he was off with the fairies. He was like, he reminds me a lot of my friend that had a brain injury. And he tells the same stories all the time. Like I watched all the podcasts the three of them, and the first two, he just repeats the same stories. And people that have brain injuries quite often can remember precisely particular stories because they're in like a, it's in like a little box in their brain. They remember that, but they don't remember everything. So they do come across like they're lucid and aware of stuff. But if you start talking about other things, Nah, they're not aware. And I saw that in the first two podcasts. He'd be just raving on, same old story that we've all heard before. And then BJ would ask a question and he he couldn't answer it because he's only got this set, you know, script that's in his brain. And I honestly think he's got brain injuries. Bam. I really, really do. Because the amount of times he's had head knocks, you know, it's pretty simple You look at all the NFL players and the footy players, they have had a lot of head knocks and now they're suffering from CTE, the critical brain damage, you know, like their brain's been shook a little bit too much. And I just think the the drugs just exacerbate whatever's going on in his brain. I really do. You know, this was the last interviews we saw of him. And, you know, he 
he's he's pretty fun and he's having good chats, but I can still tell he's out of it. He's out of it on something, whether it's street drugs or prescription. I'm not too sure. I'm really not sure. But he's just desperate to see his son, Phoenix. And so he was flying to California to hopefully see his son. And he mentions he's been seeing the shaman. Let's have a quick listen. Is the shaman, of course, Mahatma Gandhi. You saw the, the shaman? Recently? Yeah, he flew in five days ago to support my sobriety with his wife. And uh, I've been staying on a 90-acre property pretty close to here in Doylestown with this pro skater named Ed Duff who rides for Tony Hawk's company Birdhouse. So the shaman's the only person he seems to listen to. And he said he flew over from Persia, which is Iran for the people that don't know. And I think the shaman's probably the person that spoke some sense to him because he is literally the only person that he will listen to. But he also also listen to Lamar Odom because Lamar has had a lot of drug problems and he started up his own rehab clinic and I'm going to show you the clip with Lamar talking to TMZ about it let's have a quick listen of, uh, one of our beloved uh, celebs Bam Margera is going through a lot of stuff right now yeah um, he just turned himself in and to the police uh, yeah for for some situations some family and drug related stuff and I wondered like if you had any advice for him is it well does he have God in his life you know what I don't know the answer to that you know I don't but a relationship with Jesus Christ will help but um, if his problems alcohol and drugs I would um, want to reach out my hand to him and um, give him a bread in my facility at really? Old Wellness Center, yeah. That's amazing. And yeah. I, I, this is like a new venture for you. I know you're like, you know, you, you're spiritually invested in this, we could yeah. say, you know, um, yeah. you've been through this. I've been through it. And I got to know, man, like, do you think, you know, what pe people see this, this BAM saga, it's like, it's been going on for a long time, man. Yeah, if he, if he wants to help, then he's here for him. I got. I'm, I'm reaching out my arms to him. Really? You would yeah. take. You would just take care of him on the free. Just Hold on, wellness center. Him? Yes, sir. That's amazing. All he has to do is show up. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. amazing. If I, he wants it, though, he got to want. You it. have to want it. And I that, feel. I feel that. Man. Attic or and any message to him, man? He's like, he, I love him and just stay strong. Him, that's what's up, man. And and like I said, man, I take my hat off to you and what you're doing. Hold on, wellness center, bro. So as you can see, Lamar's like, hey, has he found God? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so, Lamar. But it is good that Lamar has said, I've got a bed for you and I'm ready. And it's probably also helpful to Bam to, to see someone that's very famous and taking their word and trusting them because Lamar does not have, you know, ulterior motives or wanting to steal his cash. He's giving him the bed for free, apparently. And Bam responds to Lamar. Let's have a quick listen. <laughs> And uh, Lamar Odin, I just heard your message. Yes, I do want your help. Now that response from Bam was quite a few months ago. So it's taken a while for it to happen, but thank the Lord that it actually has happened and he is in the rehab facility. Now, everything he said to BJ about not being on drugs, not blah, 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 blah. It's like, dude, why are you in rehab? Why? There's no other reason why you are detoxing and you're in rehab if you haven't been drinking or taking drugs. So that proves my point that Bam was abusing drugs and was acting a compulsive liar. But on top of that, I honestly think he needs to get some brain scans. I really do. Because the way he talks in circles with the same script it don't make sense. Oh, look at BJ's pusso. I'm sorry. I just get distracted by this, the cutest little pusso ever. I mean, Devon Rexes are really some of the most beautiful cats you'll ever meet in the world. I got my Otis, I got my Murphy, and they are gorgeous. But hers has got very little fur. Be careful on the weight of the pusso. Don't, don't let him get the diabetes because they're, they're prone to it. And Otis got kidney failure and he was exceptionally overweight. So just heads up, BJ, if you watch this, which she probably won't. But anyways, maybe someone will tell her. And um, I just can't tell you how happy, really happy I am that Bam is now in a facility that he chose to go to. Because you know he got 51 50 you know he was put in a 72-hour hold by the cops in L.A. Because, yeah, he's off his chops. 
It, you don't it doesn't you don't have to be a rocket science scientist, a doctor. You don't have to be anything like that. You can just see it, and it's good because I feel like he's chosen to do it. Because they're like, man, you can't see your five year old son in this state, and obviously someone has broken through and got to him. Whether it was the shaman Lamar, whether it was many people, BJ may have even said it. Who knows? But people have got through to him, and it's an awesome outcome. So I thought I'd update you guys on some good news for once about Bam, because Bam is a great guy, great sense of humor, was one of the best skaters, was in Jackass. Like, he's done all of that. But I just think he's got a world of problems, and he loves the blame game, which most drug addicts do. I mean, I've seen it before. But anyways... Awesome work, Bam. I hope you can really get better this time and be the best Bam you can, man. Anyways, I'm going to love you and leave you, and I will see you at the top. Bye. Cheers, ballers. Never so real, how it, how it feels